G'day, I'm Matt Haywood. In my last video, I described our efforts to predict the diet of lions. In this video, I extend that work to look at other large predators and ultimately predict their carrying capacity based on many of the same methods that I described before. Leopards were originally thought to be generalist predators, eating any medium-sized prey that was available. However, we found 33 studies from 13 different countries and 41 different sites that revealed that they significantly prefer to prey on impala, bushbuck and common dica. And a larger sample size from Asia is likely to see chital deer preferred as well. The preferred prey weight range was 10 to 40 kilograms, and where lions exhibited a right skewed body mass preference, leopards exhibited a left skewed distribution. This probably distinguishes apex from mesopredators, as lions and tigers exhibited this right skewed distribution, whereas other mesopredators we've looked at don't. The generalised modelling revealed leopards prefer prey that inhabit dense vegetation, occur in small herds, and afford the hunter minimal injury risk. Baboons are often thought of as the preferred prey of leopards, and indeed 70% of baboon kills in South Africa's Kruger National Park were attributed to leopards. Now, while leopards may be the baboon's primary enemy, it doesn't necessarily follow that ba the baboon is the leopard's primary prey. And our data shows that baboons are significantly avoided by leopards. Cheetahs were also thought to specialise in medium-sized prey, but the morphological limitations imposed on them by their evolution for speed suggest this specialisation will be more than just to a specific prey weight range. So we looked at 23 studies from six different countries reporting on 3,909 kills of 58 different species, and this revealed that cheetahs significantly preferred to prey on blesbok, impala, thompsons and grants gazelles, and springbok. Their preferred prey weight range was 23 to 56 kilograms, and again, this is less skewed. Prey inhabiting open areas are particularly preferred. We tested whether cheetahs increased their preferred prey size in denser vegetation, as this may slow the speed at which kleptoparasites arrive. However, there was no difference suggesting that this morphological limitations of cheetahs that drive their prey preferences, rather than minimising the chances of losing food to kleptoparasites. The preference for springbok and blesbok is interesting. These species once ranged in migrations that took three days to move past individual sites in South Africa's high veld. Such migrations are long gone, but imagine the cheetah population that could be sustained with such vast numbers of preferred prey. African wild dogs are group hunters, and this may increase the size of their optimal prey. We investigated this using 18 studies reporting on 24 different locations, documenting almost 5,000 kills of 45 different species. We found that wild dogs prefer prey weighing from 16 to 32 kilograms and 120 to 140 kilograms, which is relatively abundant at a site and unlikely to cause injury when hunted. Wild dogs significantly prefer to prey on greater kudu, Thompson's gazelle, impala and bushbuck. This bimodal range of preferred prey follows that of the optimal wild dog pack sizes based on Scott Creel's analysis of energetic costs and benefits. Spotted hyenas were originally considered as mere scavengers, however more detailed research has revealed that they are very efficient predators in their own right, although they will happily scavenge when the opportunity arises. Data from 15 studies from 6 different countries from almost 3,500 kills of 30 different prey species revealed that spotted hyenas are unique amongst Africa's large predator guild in not preferring any prey species. Indeed, it is only three species that it significantly avoids, buffalo, giraffe and plain zebra. Whereas lions significantly avoid 11 species, so do leopards, and cheetahs significantly avoid 15 species, while African wild dogs significantly avoid 21 species. So clearly hyenas are far more generous than these species. Spotted hyenas' most preferred prey range is 56 to 182 kilograms, and their dietary niche breadth is similar to that of lions. These two species have an actual prey species overlap of 59% and preferred prey species overlap of 69%. The non-specific nature of spotted hyenas is probably contributes to their security. When we related the actual and preferred dietary niche breadth of each member of Africa's large predator guild against their IUCN red list status, we found that more secure species like hyenas had the greatest preferred and actual dietary niche breadth. Furthermore, dietary overlap, or in other words, dietary competition, was highest for the more threatened members of the guild. The Sand Park's regional manager for the frontier region, Lucius Mulman, was happy with these findings, but he said, That's a bliff, Matt. Very interesting, but your lions have started to breed, and I want to know how many Addo can sustain. Phew, I thought. That man's only happy when South Africans are flogging Australians. 
But some excellent research has been done that identified the link between predator density and the biomass of their prey. However, these studies had used all available for prey, things like this bush bark for lions, which is rarely taken, or even elephants for all species. So I refined them by using the biomass of significantly preferred prey or the preferred prey weight range, and this led to much tighter relationships. We tested these relationships with data from other sites where prey declines had been linked to predator overabundance, and in each case, these prey declines occurred once our predicted carrying capacity for these test sites had been exceeded. We were concerned that the fences surrounding Addo Elephant National Park may be limiting the movement patterns of the reintroduced predators there. Prey biomass has also been related to home range size for large predators, but again, these studies used all available prey. So we refined these relationships using the preferred prey and weight range, and again found much tighter relationships than those previously shown. This showed us that the home range sizes of Addo's lions on the left here and leopard on the right were as would be predicted based on the available prey, rather than showing evidence of being constrained by the fences. These studies have been framed within the premise of optimal foraging theory, whereby decisions made by the predator maximise the net energetic benefits of foraging. These studies make it clear that large predators have evolved morphologies and behaviours for preferential predation. They are very rarely generalist predators. I also hope that they can be applied as valuable tools for conservation managers in predicting predator diet and carrying capacity, and even to identify previously unseen population stresses like poaching. However, there's still much more work to do. Large predators exist on all the other continents, and myself and colleagues have begun investigating their prey preferences. So stay tuned for more studies on this topic, including the refinement of the preferred prey weight range by Haley Clements. Thanks very much.